Sean's fans, heartbreaker, frustration, all, all the above is probably settling in right now. Georgia State continues their undefeated streak at Coastal Carolina, winning 42-40 today in a shootout. And it, it's what it was, unfortunately. It wasn't because of a missed two-point conversion that Georgia State won the game. The second quarter was probably the difference maker overall, and that might be the, do the doom. Uh, turnover versus no turnovers. I look at all the stats. Coastal Carolina won the majority of the stats, but the one stat they did not win was the turnover battle, and then possibly the third down conversions as well. You could argue that about who, who won the third down conversion battle. Coastal was nine for 16. Georgia State was six for 11. I mean, that might be splitting hairs. Bryce did not have a bad game. 17 of 29, 233, and a touchdown, but he also threw a pick. He had some runs as well that kept him alive. Braden Bennett broke a big one, but had ended up with 128. The team as a whole rushed for 209 yards. So they, they put up 442 yards with offense, but the defense let up some points as well. And George State's two best games going into the season were losses against Louisiana and a loss against Auburn. Both came in the final minute of the game. So they've been right there. Georgia State's got one more win in them, and then they become bowl eligible. Expect them to go bowling this year. Coastal more than likely now has just guaranteed themselves a trip to the Myrtle Beach Bowl, where they'll play either a Conference USA or MAC opponent. That's not the answers anybody on this video, watching this video, is looking for right now and excuses. It, it just came down to Georgia State. And when I say punch them in the mouth, oh, 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 there was more than one punch in the mouth scenario. And yet how that yellow hanky stayed in the officials' back pockets beyond me. But I'm not putting this on the officials. Just this was... Uh, how many consecutive games now where the opponents are physically trying to punch Coastal Carolina in the mouth? And I'm seeing a coincidence form that and when they play hard hitting teams, these guys are physically hard hitting and maybe it's taking their toll on them. I don't Here's the wrap up. It's not the way we wanted it to be. Still a positive season. I mean, well, let's compare for just two years ago when the, when they, finished just a, missing bowl games coming down to their final two games and couldn't clinch a bowl game. And now we're frustrated because we're pretty much guaranteed not to win the Sun Belt East. So big step forward, but that's not good enough to most fans' point of view. And I know the locker room's point of view as well. So it's just learning curve. Next week is Texas State. It's senior night. It's the, it's the final home game of the season, and hopefully it'll be a recovery game. Sean's up. Please like and subscribe our videos and follow us on YouTube and check out our website, coachingcrewshow.com, for all of our latest videos as well. We'll hope for better next week, but we'll be with you to the end.